Welcome to Card of the Day, where we talk about why Shores is Cards of the Day. I hope you all had a happy Thanksgiving, good Black Friday, and Cyber Monday. I was going to do like a Market Watch video, but I got lazy. And if it looks like the frame's a little higher, it's because I got a new tripod. You can now see what's on my shirt. Two weeks off, so let's see what we missed. GGO is out. We are getting the Poppin' Party Trial Deck, both the Unit Trial Deck and Booster Packs, Review Starline, and Million Live. That's currently what we're going to be covering in these couple of videos. And yes, that is a lot of cards. By the time I upload this video, Konosuba 2 will be out in English. Um, I'm not going to buy a booster box because I just bought all the singles I needed for a half the price of a booster box. The first set we're going to cover is 2 Love Roo. Sorry, 2 Ghost Roo. What's it called? Yuna. Sorry. First card we're going to cover is Pure and Pretty Miyazaki Chisaki. Is that really her name? She gets 1k1 and 1 level when you use an Act Ability and Climax combo. When it reverses his opponent in battle and 1 and only is in your Climax Zone, look up to 2 cards from the top of your deck, select a Yuragi So or Yukamori City and add it to your hand and then you ditch the rest. The Climax is a 1k1 and a Wind and Soul when triggered. Did someone say backups? The first effect isn't restricted during your turn, so if your opponent has a level 1 bomb or an on reverse effect, you know, like one of these, you get an extra buff, and the climax combo is pretty decent too. It's nothing compared to Konosuba 2, you know the one. But it's standard, and it gets you any ghost or girl character. Surrounding you youth Miyazaki Chisaki is once per turn. When you use an act, you can pay one and reveal the top card of your deck. If it's a Yuraki So or Yukimori City character, add it to hand. And when you play a Climax, choose a character and it gets 1k. That's actually not bad. Uh, you might want to load up your deck with either this card or this card so you can get these two effects off. Secret Adventure Chitose is when it is sent to the waiting room from the stage. You can ditch a card, look up to the four from the top of your deck, choose a level one or above, add it to hand, and ditch the rest. Yes, that is easy and that is a smile that I want to protect. Let's go review Starlight on. Pajama Party Tendo Maya gets plus 1,500 power if you have two or less stock. Revenge Hoshimi Juna is on reverse. It's an early drop killer. It spins the character to the bottom of the deck and climax combo. When main character of fate is played, if this card is in the front row and you have two or more other review characters, select a level one or below character in your opponent's back row and spin it to the bottom of their deck. The climax is a 1k1 and a buck one trigger. Holy shit. In this game, we don't have a lot of back row removal like in Yu-Gi-Oh or Magic or anything like that. That is a big condition to fulfill. But it's still doable. You could get rid of like this or this or fucking shit this. But not this. Uh, we do have this card for that though. My Shine Kagura Hikari is 2 or less stock. It gets plus 1,500. And on reverse, mill your deck. And if it's a level 2 or higher character, rest this card. Literally in the last set, we've had these effects. But it just reveals the top card of your deck and it doesn't do anything. But this, you mill it. So you're digging into your deck a lot deeper. Damn, talk about power creep. Literally in the next set over. Summer of Stage Girl Kagura Hikari is a free runner and aims to be number one star. Juna is 500 forward and paid to rest and you can search your review character. Resolution to face the stage Saijo Claudine is on play, gets 1500 power and climax combo. When it reverses a character, blind stock up to one card from your deck and then reveal the top card of your deck and add it to your hand if it's a level one or higher character. The climax is a 1k1 and a buck one trigger. Next, Starlight Saijo Claudine is on play if you have two or more characters with a view, you can draw and ditch one. New Chapter Karen is a level three killer plus six thousand power and climax combo when you play review starlight hey that's the name of the show and this is in your front row you can pay one and select the character with review and in your waiting room and play it on the stage and that character gets plus 1k the climax is a red stock stall and two soul when triggered holy shit you know what that's actually pretty tight it's like a standby with a couple restrictions leo tarjuna and mahiru is paid two at the start of your opponent's attack phase select one of your review characters and this card Swap their positions in sand, and during this turn, that character gets plus one level and one K. Fuck yeah, disruptions. Say no to bombs, kids. It's any character and anywhere, so kind of makes anything a runner, kind of, which is pretty cool. In the trial deck for Bang Dream, we got Shiny Starry Sky Kasumi, and on play from hand, reveal the top card of your deck. If it's a music character, you give 2k to one of your characters, and it's a level 1 bomb. Honestly, this has more utility than the 1-0 Remy that we are currently running in our Bang Dream decks, because it does give you that boost, and you can give the boost to itself. The one thing though is if you use the 1-0 Saya, you won't be getting the plus 2k effect, because it has to be on play from hand. But either way, you know... Bring back either bomb. Ah, uh, I do like this one a little better, but the Remy one's still pretty sick. Here's Roselia, and oh my god, that type is <laughs> so small. 2,500 backup, and when you use it, you can get plus 1k to a character. This card is available through a magazine called Kado Gamo, or as you can guess, 
card game. You can find the magazine on the internet for like about 10 bucks, so it's, if you want this card, go ahead and get it. One thing that would be pretty sweet is if you have this card, you meet Aina Aiba, have her sign it. Oh, and the other girl too. <laughs> I feel so bad, I don't, what's her fucking name? And those are all the cards that we had today. Wait, we have one more review Starlight card, don't we? Oh shit, we actually do. Uh, here's one from uh, the Bushy Road magazine. It's a 2-1 backup plus 2,500, and when you use this card's backup, reveal the top card of your deck. If it's a review character, add it to your hand, and then you ditch your card. So it's kind of standard 2-1 backup, nothing really exciting there, but it is on a PR, and it does look pretty fucking cool. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more White Shores news and content. And I will be doing another Christmas unboxing. You probably guess it like around Christmas. I'm, I'm starting to gather up all the packs and all that. So, you know, subscribe. Stay tuned for that. It's going to be a quite a bit of cards this time. And yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next week.